Hey guys, welcome to uh, Football History uh, Devlog. This is our second Devlog. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to wait until we uh, got more progress before I showed uh, what we have. Uh, we're looking to uh, release the game in the fall of uh, this year, 2023. And um, we're not quite done with the UI and all of that other stuff yet, but I wanted to show you where we are so far and uh, just let you in on some uh, little things that we're doing here. Um, so let's boot it up here and get her going. Now our landing page right now is kind of still the same as the simulator, but that's gonna change because we are going to uh, actually uh, have a, our UI, we're redoing that, so it's gonna to go to the main menu of the UI and everything, but just for purposes of showing you where we are and just starting things up, I'll um, just show you what, what's going on so far. So let's just grab a play here and view it in 3D. going we're also going to lose that splash screen right there as well so here's what the game will look like uh, so far let me uh, see if I can expand the screen a little bit here uh, there we go because I wanted you to see um, uh, right now we have this football here we're gonna have one for offense and defense but this will bring up a UI to call plays and everything as you can see we have our scoreboard uh, the weather is actually going to be in one of the uh, settings, in the settings menu, but I just have it here just so you can see what it looks like. And our particle system isn't all the way yet installed, but um, as you can see, you'll see some of it here. You'll still be able to move the camera, uh, rotate it uh, pretty much anywhere on the field. You use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out uh, on players and on a play. Uh, the sidelines are going to be done as right now we just have these uh, players in there for placeholders. We have some cameramen here, uh, but all of that's going to be um, redone and everything like that. They're just here for placeholders so far. And so uh, the as far as the cameras go right now, they're mapped to the number keys. So if we go zero gets you that, um, which is more the traditional view right there. There's camera one, camera two, which is more of a top-down, camera three, camera four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, nine. So you have nine different camera angles. And um, that uh, camera four there is the broadcast angle, but you can also zoom out on these camera angles or zoom in however you want to do it. And then... Um, you can rotate, like as I mentioned, any way you want and run the play from any view that you really want to. So I'm going to just um, keep it at the traditional view so far. And then we're going to run that play uh, that we picked. Uh, they'll drop back Z and see what happens. And I can rotate the camera right during the play as well. So then uh, when we, uh, and that we're going to lose that load screen as well. So if we want to call another play, we just do that. Let's call a run here. Um, and I'll do a halfback stretch right. And then we'll run that. So I want to see this from uh, the defensive point of view. I can do that. Roll it in. They got tackled in the backfield there. And we'll run one more play here. Uh, let's run a pass play. And I'm going to do a uh, twins left to the tailback. And again, we're still clearing some bugs on this as well. If you, hit, if you press the space bar, you'll be able to just uh, run the play. You don't have to click that uh, button up here. Man, he got sacked.
Okay, let's try a uh, one more play. I'll do a uh, I'll do that drop back Z again. Let's see if we can get that to work. And we're gonna have uh, right now the AI is, is basically uh, defense oh, is controlled by the AI, but we're gonna be able to create routes. We can create routes for the defense, but we're we're still working with that right now. And um, here we go. So that's pretty much um, what we have so far. And uh, when we get back to this again, you're going to see uh, some UI work, uh, get that particle system worked out. And uh, really right now we're going to be working on uh, gameplay, so, uh, which we are always been working on. But we're going to have uh, the exhibition uh, set up to where we can play the exhibition game back and forth and everything. And then all, you know, we're also going to have where you'll be able to play seasons and um, all that good stuff. We still have it where you can uh, do customize all the teams and all that stuff. You can customize them however you want. Import logos, e import and export teams out of here and everything like that. So this is going to be really cool to be able to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, creating uniforms, creating teams and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so we're hoping the community will obviously be doing some modding on this game. I think there's going to be a lot of mods that are going to be uh, done for this game as we go on. And uh, there's going to be a lot of cool things that we're going to put in here that I'll show you as we get more into this uh, the development phase, uh, kind of polishing up things, you know, getting things to, to um, bug free and stuff like that. I probably may have some bugs in there, at, at even trying to get the, everything bug free. But it's going to be a stable game. I think we're going to have a uh, nice, uh, fun game to play for everybody. And uh, we will see you back here soon. And I'm looking forward to um, speaking with everybody on this. And, uh, you know, of course, we're going to do a live stream and all that other good stuff, too. So um, good times in 2023. This is going to be a great game, I think. And... Uh, something that uh, it's getting close to really what I want it to be after all these years of you know putting in the time and putting in the work and everything so I'm really looking forward to it so I'll see you guys soon you take care and uh, we will jump out of here and um, talk to you guys later <laughs>